Hello, this is Chad with 3TParty.com. Today we're going to show you how to make a new page on your website, edit old pages. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is uh, the Boston Independence Day Tea Party. If you were an author, an administrator on this website, what you could do is these are what's called pages on your site. You see there's the home, about us, contact events. These are pre-programmed in your website. Uh, for your use. Any of these can be changed and edited by you and you can add additional ones and that's what we're going to show you how to do today. First thing you do as always is log in to your account, use your new username and password. Once you log in you'll see the gray bar at the top of your screen. So if you scroll over my tea parties, any tea party site that you are associated with, authoring, administrating, etc., uh, will come up in the drop down menu. Today we're going to show you how to add a new page to the Boston Independence Day Tea Party site. Now if you go down to Boston, you'll see a sub menu will show up and you'll get dashboard, new post, manage post, manage comment, switch theme, etc. In order to add or edit a page, we need to go to the dashboard, which is the administration console for the web page. It'll take you to this right here that you see right here. This is what's called the administration console. In order to add a new page, we go down here and you'll see this pages link right here. And there's a drop down menu right here. It'll say either edit old pages or add a new one. First, uh, I'm going to show you really quickly how to edit a page. For example, anybody that's taken charge of a tea party should uh, immediately go to the contact page. And if you click edit, you'll show up the you'll see the pre-programmed content that we have put in there. It says please use this form to contact local organizers for this event. Well, now that you're the local organizer or you're organizing uh, with other people, what you should do is come in here and edit this content. So you'd select this, you delete it and say, "Hey, uh, I'm the organizer." Um, put your name, you can put your email, um, you can put your phone number, that phone number probably won't work, but you can try it. Um, you can put in whatever information you want here. And uh, once you push update post, when you go back to your site and users come to your site and they click content, uh, contact, I'm sorry, um, then they will see this new information that you have updated on the site. For now, I'm going to show you how to add a new one. So you go over here, and you uh, right now, since I didn't click update post, it's not going to actually change the content on the site. <clears throat> so now when I go to add a new one, you'll see this bar will come up. Hey, you haven't actually saved your changes. So I don't want to save those because that's not my real phone number. So now we're at add a new page. Now this is very useful for several things. If you want to add a list of speakers, book recommendations, how to contact your media, all sorts of information you can add. If you want to create a completely independent page on your website, this is where to do it. So go to add a new page. For example, right now we're going to say uh, media. Now you want to be able to tell the people that are coming to your Tea Party site, well how do I contact the radio stations in my area? How do I contact the newspapers? You know, I, I want their phone numbers, emails, all that kind of stuff. All you do is simply add the media title here. You can add a, a contact uh, ABC Boston um, right here, phone number right here, email right here. Whatever it is, you can even add a, a sample uh, letter to the editor here. You can add a sample uh, list of talking points that you want to tell the media station here. Whatever you want to do. In an earlier tutorial, Anthony taught you how to use all these different features down here where you can change the author. You can add a Google map. You can add a, um, the SEO description, with, which will help your blog come up in Google and Yahoo search results and all the other uh, search engines. But for now, we're just showing you how to add a new page. Uh, if you if you go over here and you see this box that says publish, you can save this as a draft. This is useful if you want somebody else to review it before it goes live. If you're only halfway done, you got to go to bed. Click save draft. You can come back to it at a later date and edit it. If you click here on preview, it'll come up in a separate box and you'll be able to see what it looks like before it goes live. That's useful because a lot of times you want to get a visual view of it. And you're not sure if you entered the information right. Click preview see what it looks like and then go back to your page. Now once you click publish your your new page is going to go live and you'll see at the at the top of the Tea Party site of home about us contact events and you saw I added the title I added the description and then I clicked update so now when I refresh this page all it took for me to do was uh, put in this new page over here and we update page 
and now your entire site is going to have a new uh, link on the navigation bar and you're going to have a new event you see that media popped up now anybody that comes to your website they see media oh how do I contact my media I go there and I see contact ABC uh, ABC Boston there's their phone number which doesn't work there's their email which doesn't work I hope you enter uh, better information than I did but that's just a tutorial how to add a new page it's very easy we encourage everybody to go to the about us contact events page change all the descriptions so they fit what you are doing these sites are meant so that everybody can enter information that's specific to your event anything that we've entered here is simply a template for your use and to get you started but we hope that you go through and edit as much as you can I'm gonna delete this one because it's gonna be of no use to anybody except people that are maybe dyslexic and uh, you know that's all we got for you today we're gonna continue to add tutorials how to add media how to add polls all that kinda of stuff but for now Hopefully this gets you going. If you have any more questions, please submit them to reteaparty at gmail.com. Um, you can also, uh, if you want to make screencasts of your own, if you know how to do this stuff, if you're a web pro and you would like to make a screencast of your own, we please encourage you to do so. Please send them to us, um, and we would be happy to post them on our site. Uh, again, submit your questions, concerns uh, to reteaparty at gmail.com, and thank you very much for listening. Hope that helped.